Hello beauties, welcome to Lady Lay Tarot. Today we're going to take a look at your third party reading. So what your person is doing with the third party, how he feels for you versus the third party, what he wants with you versus with the third party, and what will he do regarding you versus with the third party. We have four piles with us today. The first pile is this stone with the stripes. The second pile is this stone. It has blue and green tints. The third pile is this stone. It has a pink hue and a beige in the center. And the fourth pile is this gray stone. It's perfectly round. So please pause and reflect upon which pile you feel drawn to, which one is calling out to you. You may want to go ahead and choose more than one pile. There may be messages in there for you. So please, if this is triggering, don't watch it. I will try my best to be as honest as possible on what the cards have to say and what spirit is trying to bring forth with the messages. And if this is in any way triggering, of course, please don't watch it. Watch another video or a more positive message. But uh, this was upon popular request. It was requested by one of my subscribers. And I thank you for the suggestion. So let's get into it. Hi, pal one. Welcome to your reading. You went with this stone the stripes and this card came out while I was shuffling for your pile it's the uh, five of cups it's the card of loss feeling abandoned desperate so um, maybe this is how you felt in this situation with the third party being involved here or maybe that's how your person felt ultimately but we're gonna take a look at what the cards have to say Okay, so first off, we're going to take a look at the energies of you, this person, your person, or your ex, and the third party. So the third party is anyone that is not you, that your um, other person, that your person is involved with. So we're going to take a look at the energies for that before we get into the three questions we have which is how he feels for you versus the third party what he wants with you versus with the third party and ultimately what will he do regarding you versus with the third party okay so let's see which one is yours hero heroine passion for a journey of personal empowerment okay that is your energy here Let's see your person's energy. Thank you, spirit. Advocate inspires you to put compassion into action or embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. Okay, and the third party is represented by this artist expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically, or using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Okay, so we're going to get some more clarifiers, but um, straight off the bat, I'm getting some hints. So it looked like you're the type of person who would do anything for this person that was your person. Maybe you were very sporty together, you helped them reach new heights, and you had a passion for them. Notice it says passion for a journey. Okay, maybe you felt like you guys were equals here. Notice how they're dressed equally. And as for your person, so your person may be an outdoorsy type. That's just one download I'm getting. And it looks like they did things for personal gain. They embraced negative causes. And uh, maybe they met this person through work. But it looks like they're very dedicated to their own causes here. 
so a hard worker maybe this is your person here and remember if it and remember if it doesn't resonate this may not be your pile so i'm just reading the energies for this pile and the artist this person looks like this third person that became involved with your person it looks like perhaps they are an artist in some entertainment business or at least they're young it's the energy that i'm getting from here and that they were the one that were seeking out your person because notice your person was doing their own thing here and uh, this other person is more involved more calculated than your person here but let's get further clarification one more further clarifier okay so one for you in this relationship defense okay one for your person status okay definitely i saw that with the advocate card here and for the third party we have domination okay so this person may be religious or just likes to dominate your person that's what i'm getting a bossy energy and as for you i see that you had to put your guard up against your person here or the situation because it was hurting you so much but let's take one more further clarifier before we get into the questions here about how this person feels about you versus the other party okay so wall misunderstanding wow it looks similar to the mountain card so maybe you guys yeah you had a misunderstanding a fight here or you guys were on opposite spectrums here here you were trying to build something with this person but they were looking to build with someone else that's one download i'm getting let's see for your person here with the status card vase secret admirer and look it's facing that other person so it looks like they did something sneaky here behind your pack with this other person and with this other person maybe they saw status some riches like um an equal life partner or something else that they could gain out of this with the Taurus card here okay chair empty someone is leaving your life okay and i want to get one more clarifier for that okay maybe this person came out of a relationship to this third party person to pursue your person that's what i'm feeling with this and the most difficult part of a situation is over yeah with the over card here look the rainbows again so this third party sees a lot of potential with your person especially in terms of dominating them and like i said this person looks younger and someone who is maybe artistic works in the entertainment industry okay that's what i'm getting with the artist card here okay so now we have those cards i want to see three things so i have my list here the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is how he feels for you and what he wants with you and what will he do we're going to get some cards for each of those and for the with the other person the third party person okay, so now we have those cards let's put these here Okay, so I'm going to put it like this. Now remember, these were your cards, just in case we need to refer to them later. Okay, so first off, let's get three cards for how he feels for you. Because this is your side here. Spirit gave us four cards, but we only need three cards, Spirit. Four of Swords. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay. 
Now we're going to get how he feels for the other person here. Let's put this away. Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And Six of Wands. Mm. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers for this and we'll get right into it. Two more clarifiers, please, Spirit, for how he feels for you. Affair. Okay. Criticism. Mm. And achievement, again, matches the Six of Wands here. And flirtation. Okay, so right off the bat, this is for the question how he feels for you versus for the third party. We will also do what he wants and what he will do. But the first part, show me how he feels for you is he's uncertain here. You see with the four swords, he's not doing much. Maybe he's thinking of you in his heart of hearts. That's what I'm seeing here, but he's not speaking out. He is restricted with the Eight of Swords. His hands are tied. But it does look like he's following you, trying to watch what you're doing here with the Page of Swords. Look at that card. So secretly following you, but feeling like he can't do anything about this situation. So he feels restricted. In loving, he can't stop dreaming or thinking about you and seeing what you're up to. So underneath the Four of Swords, we have the Affair card. So he's feeling that he should retreat from this because he's in a new relationship or an old relationship that he's returned to. And with the criticism, yeah, I see that he's critical, critical of you. So he does see your beautiful qualities, but he's also critical. Maybe he's blaming this on you now. The fact that he's with this other person, he prefers this route, at, this, at least for this time being. And as for how he feels about this other person, we have the Eight of Cups. He feels like he has a fresh new start with this person. I'm sorry if that hurts. Remember, if you don't resonate with this reading, please do click off or go to another reading altogether. I don't want to be triggering to you. I'm just um, reading the energies and seeing what Spirit has to say for this pile. So nine of pentacles here. So he sees some abundance. He feels like there's much potential in this. Maybe she's doing some favors for him. And the six of wands, he feels like this relationship will be successful. Like he could achieve his um, goals here in terms of money at least, or in terms of being visible to others. Remember the status card right? That represents your person. So they want to be with someone who looks good in public with other people. So for some reason, maybe they think this person looks better or dresses better for um, the type of person that they are, especially if they're a, in a position of authority, this person, you know, they're very much into looks and how the public will perceive them. And with the flirtation card here, I see that they do have, I'm sorry to say, feelings for this person. Um, what's strange is we have Six of Wands, which is the same card as the Achievement card. So this person feels like they're bountiful, at least for the time being, with the Nine of Pentacles too, with this person. Maybe this other person can help them in their career, in their advancement, in terms of money with the Pentacles card here and the Wands card of Success Achievement. So they feel like this person is a good look for them. Um, either because they're fashionable or they can do something for their career, for their ego here, for their money. So now we are moving on to part two, which is 
what he wants with you versus with the third party in his heart. So let's take a look. Okay. So spirit, let's take a look at what this person wants with pile one versus with the other party here. First, let's get three cards. No, two cards, please, spirit. The wheel of fortune. Hmm. Six of swords. Okay. And let's get two clarifiers for this. Okay. Independence. Okay, that's what I saw earlier as well. Mm. Okay. I will explain that shortly. So let's see. These are what he wants. Now, what does he want with the third party? Okay, we have three cards here. Interesting. But um, I only need two, please, Spirit. King of Cups. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like these people work together, or at least this third party is good for, um, you know, this person's um, career advancement. And let's get one from here. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Mm. <sighs> okay, and two, please, Spirit, for this other person for how what he wants drama interesting and submission mm, okay okay now this karma card makes sense here so what he wants with you, he wants some independence, some time away from you. Wheel of Fortune. He feels like he's not yet ready for this type of relationship. He needs to explore and discover himself. Maybe he needs to establish himself um, in his career or in his life first. Because he doesn't feel enough for you. He doesn't feel developed enough. And with the Six of Swords... He does miss you, but he feels like maybe you guys are better off apart right now. So maybe he's remembering all the negative times, the quarrel, the uh, fights, or he's convincing himself that you guys would have had a lot of conflict and there was fighting. So he just doesn't want to do that anymore. The fighting. He wants the fighting to stop. If you guys are still together or whether you're together right now or apart, he's just tired of the fighting. He feels some sort of competition with you, maybe because you guys are equals. And as for with this person, what he wants is definitely with the um, Knight of Cups, romance is on his mind here. Yeah, he's um, totally taken in by his emotions for this person. He likes the drama that this person brings. Like this person br holds him accountable is what I'm seeing. She's the boss in this relationship. And what he wants is to be submissive to her. Yeah. With the eight of pentacles. He wants a lot of money. Um, productivity in his work life with her. Because it looks like either they work together or she's very good for his status and image. As we saw there earlier with the status card. And so this is his karma, is what I'm seeing, this drama. He believes that he deserves to have someone who's hard on him, who's bringing the drama. And um, he kind of enjoys being submissive here because in his other relationship, as far as I'm seeing with you, he could be bossy, he could be rude, and he could get away with certain things. But with this person, because... You know, he's kind of whipped. I don't want to say the word here. And she's a um, dramatic person. Someone who can tell him what to do, who can 
boss him around and give him orders. He feels that this is his karma. He just has to suck it up and take it, be submissive to her because she's good for his status and he finds her attractive. But with you for the time being, he is critical. And now this five of cups makes sense here. When this thing was broken, you know, I don't think you were expecting it. You were heartbroken. This person hasn't gotten their full karma yet. So the third thing, the last thing we're going to do is what will he do regarding you in the future and regarding this person? So let's take a look at three cards for what will he do? regarding you and regarding this person okay so one card here you just need one more please spirit mm, diamond okay and let's take a look at okay two cards of what he will do regarding you Seven of Swords, mm, King of Swords, and two cards. What is he going to do regarding this person? The Lovers, yeah, and Wheel of Fortune, okay. And one more clarifier. And we're going to get straight into it. Restlessness. Okay. And one more card. And fell out here. Patience. Interesting. We have the juxtaposition of restlessness versus patience here. Okay. So, pile one. I'm going to keep it real. You know, I'm just seeing what the cards have to offer here, what the cards are saying, the messages. So he's going to focus on his money. So if he sees that he can get a benefit with you, then maybe he'll come back to some extent, but he'll still be tricking you with the six of, six of swords. He'll still have one foot out the door here. Yeah, so we had that card here earlier, Six of Swords. You know, like leaving, thinking that this is the best route. So unless he sees money luck with you or a better lifestyle, yeah, he's not going to stick around because he's restless. Now he's um, chasing his independence. Remember, we had that independence card here with, um, where was that card? Yeah, he was chasing his independence here, as we saw earlier, for his feelings. Yeah. So this is giving me the same energy here. Because he needs to grow and learn. He still has so much that he wants to accomplish in his uh, public life, in his work life. He thinks he's on a roll. His ego is very inflated. Look how big he is here. And with the King of Swords, this is a very cold energy here. He's laying down the law. So I see coldness. Like he wants to be dominant. Otherwise, he doesn't want to do anything regarding you right now. And as for the question, what will he do regarding the third party? Looks like in the near future, um, either they are married or they will be married or he will propose commitment to this person with the lovers here as well. He likes this partnership for the time being with her. He's yeah, this reminds me of the lovers card as well. Yeah, so he sees her as someone who could prop him up, be a good career booster for him, so he will be patient with her and bear her intolerable ways, her bossiness. And with the wheel of fortune card here, I'm going to get a clarifier for that, but it looks like he does want the hands of fate to um, 
you know, be fortunate for him and this woman here or this person, whoever he's involved with. But let's get a clarifier for this uh, Wheel of Fortune card in terms of what he's going to do with this third party, November. Mm, okay. Now we need one more clarifier. So November is a card of, well, look, the sun is shining out. So he wants things to thaw between them. Maybe there's been some sort of difficulty here with, look, looks like a Queen of Swords energy here with her drama. So he's going to try everything to get her not to be this way. And ostentation, again, a card of showing off here. Okay, that makes sense. So he wants them to build things together, build a life together with the career and make him look good with the ostentation showing off card here. And, yeah, so that's what he is planning on doing with the third party versus with you. So, Pal One, that was your reading. I hope you resonated with this. Um, it brought you some measure of comfort, some measure of understanding. If you did resonate, do let me know. Take care of yourself. Bye. See you later, Pal One. Hi, pal two. Welcome to your reading. So you felt drawn to this stone here with a blue or greenish quality. And the card that came through for your pile is this one here, the fool. It's a card of new beginnings. And um, this one is the Danish folklore of the little mermaid. So someone who sacrifices for new beginnings. So that's maybe that's what you were in this relationship. That's giving us a clue of what happened. And um, maybe, yeah, it came to naught because the third party jeopardized your relationship. But so we're going to take a look firstly at um, your energy, this person's energy, the person that's on your mind. We'll call it your person loosely. And the third party, the one that interfered in your relationship. So the other person that is involved with your person will be on the right here. And after we establish that, we're going to tackle three questions. How he feels for you versus for the third party. What he wants with you versus with the third party. And what will he do with you versus with the third party. But first, before we tackle those three questions, let me take a look at the energies of you, this person, and the third party. So Spirit, give me one card for pile number two first. Thank you. So Slave, okay, that's your energy. Surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Wow, that reminds me of this card here, full with a Little Mermaid story. Giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Okay, maybe you were a slave for this person's love, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. That's just my first inkling here. So your person here was the Midas Miser. Entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold, delight in sharing life's riches, or when used in a bad way, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Okay, so this person was secretive, furtive. I see them as having kept you in the dark about things. Maybe they were even cheap. All right, and the third person <clears throat> is the damsel, the third party. Light attributes, understanding the nature of healthy romance, inspires you to rely on yourself or when used in the wrong way, waiting for a knight to provide for you. Seduction by romantic illusion. Okay, so this person looks like they were kind of coy, pr pretending to be shy, that they needed rescuing. Maybe they even know how to use your person's money and wealth to their own advantage because I see a very um, like well-off type of energy here, like a queen of wands type of energy with that card. But let me get some clarifiers. 
So for slave, let me get one card for pile number two, please, spirit. Criticism. Okay, looks like you were criticized by this person or you doubted yourself, your own worth. So another download. And as for your person, negotiation. Wow, interesting. This looks like they played both of you. So you see this card here. So they went from you to this person. It's like they were juggling both of you at the same time. Yeah, there, definitely there was an overlap here. Again, I don't know the situation. Um, if this person is married or if this is someone that came in between your relationship. But definitely they were juggling both of you at the same time. At one point in time. With that card there. And as for the damsel, the third party, any other clarifier, please, spirit? Okay, we had a few fallout, but I just need one. Okay, we had romance. Okay, definitely the damsel card here. So this person looks like they were interested in this um, hot romance with your person here. And one more clarifier, and we'll get to the question of how do they feel for you versus the other person. So one more clarifier for pile one here. Please, Spirit. Thank you. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Wow, interesting. We have that with the slave. So I feel like this is the eight of um, swords energy here. You were kind of bullied into letting go of this person or criticized by this person, made to feel like you're not good enough. Um, in some cases, I'm also seeing emotional or verbal or even, I'm sorry to say, physical abuse here, which is awful. And as for this miter, Midas Miser, your person here, February, okay. So rudeness. Okay, maybe outspokenness, like I don't want you cutting it all of a sudden when they no longer needed you. And as for this damsel, I see ladder climbing towards success. Okay, this is um, someone who definitely wanted to take this romance up a notch and um, maybe interested in using this person for personal gain. So I don't see only naivety on this person's part, but someone who wanted to use them, wanted to use this person. So, all right, uh, we have those clarifiers. Now we're going to do how he feels for you versus the third party. So, okay, let me put these here. This is going to be on your side. Let me put this person's pile here. And the third party person, how he feels for the third party person will be on the right side. Okay, so first let's get three cards for how he feels for you. The lovers, ace of pentacles. Wow, okay. We're going to get clarifiers for that too. And the page of swords. And uh, how does he feel for... How does he feel for this third party? Let's get three cards. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. We have Three of Wands. And one more card. Oh, I just need one, please, Spirit. Mm, okay, Four of Swords landed here, so I'm going to keep that there. And let's get some clarifiers for their feelings. Okay, two clarifiers. Wow, diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Maybe you guys were engaged or are engaged or married. In some instances, I see strong commitment here for you from this person. An elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. 
with the ace of pentacles that's a very promising sign so i see that this person and you have shared finances maybe even lived together or you've been together for a long time with this person so it looks like they have strong feelings for you here but this is also a card of choice the page of swords they don't know what to decide because they have a history with you with the elephant card here is saying long journey either physically or mentally and two cards two clarifiers for um this person the third party whoever he or she is in your person's life i mean if it's uh the wife or the other woman other man in need of help assistance and guidance okay so maybe this started out as an office romance is one of the messages that i'm getting or this per your person was helping this person out and they kind of didn't expect to fall yeah like i said i feel like this person was putting on their charm and had their eye on this person here just like in the little mermaid you know ursula dressed up and seduced eric so that's what i see here maybe this is what happened you guys um obviously this person has feelings for you with the ace of pentacles and the lovers but page of swords they don't know what to do here they're studying up on what they should do scales keep your life in balance three of wands okay so this looks like this is the, this is the other person three of wands is a card of should i go there should i not go there there is some passion that i feel this is a third party card also so they're kind of undecided here whether this is worth it and uh, the four of swords energy looks like they're kind of contemplating what to do now they're kind of in a hermity type of mode but um the knight of pentacles i do see some passion for this person that was unexpected like i said maybe your person was helping this person out and feelings developed they jumped into a relationship and so they kind of feel like they're playing with fire with the third party person here and their life is not totally in balance they're not sure but as for with you the lover's card here i feel like they do feel attraction and you are someone that brought out their protective nature here and someone that they had commitment to or have been committed to and they've been together with for longer than with this other person known longer so ace of pentacles here yeah they want to offer you offer you tangible things but they're not sure so they're thinking about it with the page of swords here thinking about what to do what not to do okay so interesting they're thinking about both you and the third party person in terms of what should i do should i not pursue this okay so those were their feelings now the second portion of this reading is what he wants with you versus with the third party so i'm going to get also some cards for that all right so first let's get um two cards here for you what he wants definitely he has feelings for you with the ace of pentacles and the lovers Ooh, he's worried maybe you've left him okay the wheel of fortune yeah that's the wheel of fortune card mm. okay ten of cups that's what he wants with the other person and two of cups wow okay okay so with you they're uncertain with the wheel of fortune card they're kind of leaving it up to fate they're worried that they can't get you back they don't know what to do there's anxiety there's depression they feel ashamed of what they've done here and as for the with the other person look the ten of cups that's a card of family two of cups that's a card of being together so definitely they've fallen under this person's charms this romance i'm sorry to say you know it sounds like yeah what they want with this other person is a family or being together 
at this moment at least. And one more clarifier for that, for what he wants with you. From here, with this card, and then with another deck. Harp, great happiness. Hmm, yeah, but he's disappointed that he couldn't get this happiness. And with this other person, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Interesting, so maybe they have a child now. Or they could, they could be expecting a child. Or they have some sort of business or family together. Because Ten of Cups is the card of family. You know, this friendship. Two of Cups is also one of those cards. Yeah, I see that they want um, maybe a family or to raise a kid with this person. The time being. But let's take a look at one more clarifier for this. For what he wants with you versus with this third party. Okay, thank you, spirit. Achievement. Mm, okay, so he does want to feel like he achieved something with you because this relationship meant something to him. It was the one that he had for a while. He's known you for a while. And uh, in terms of what he wants with the other person, okay, we had these cards trying to come out. So let's see. Lust. Okay. So he definitely wants, it looks like, to, um, I don't know how to say this, but yeah, to be with this person romantically, at least for the time being. Because, yeah, she's like giving him this damsel of distress energy, this romance vibes right now. Okay. So pile two, I hope this is not too triggering. If it is, just turn it off and discard. Um... Okay, and the third and last question is what will he do regarding you versus with this other person? So let's take a look at that. Okay, let's get some cards out for what he will do regarding you in the future or now. Okay, we have three cards that came out. Let's see which order. It's trying to come out in. First card, please, Spirit. Seven of Wands. He's feeling defensive. Three of Swords. <coughs> so it looks like he's going to have to break your heart with bad news. For You see, this looks like a Three of Swords as well. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles. So he's going to have to be alone and learn on his own with this um, other person. So for now, it looks like he prefers to be on that side and to learn and to grow. And as for with this other person, this third party person, what will he do regarding her? Okay. We have, wow, Ten of Pentacles again. Well, we had the Ten of Wands there. So again, he wants a family, establish a family, a foundation. Similar to the Ten of Cups card here. Then we have Four of Wands. It's a card of marriage or togetherness. And... page of wands okay yeah he wants to pursue her for now at least you know looks like he is committed to this person for the time being he wants to celebrate um there's this it's also a marriage card ten of pentacles is also that like togetherness spending time together and page of wands is like chasing after this person but as for you what he wants is to be away from you for now, even though this may break your heart with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands. He's defensive. Maybe because you've been so nice to him and it would really suck for him to realize what an a-hole he's been. How uh, brutal, cruel he's been, critical he's been while you've been nothing but nice to him. You know, 
and uh, sacrificing for him. So in order to not feel like an a-hole, he has to, you know, put up this boundary that be defensive. Like, you know, it's your fault. But like we said, deep down, he does feel like you brought out that tender side in him. And he wants to offer you something. He does have feelings for you. And he does know that, you know, this is a long journey. That you guys have been together for a while. <sighs> okay. Yeah, maybe you had this commitment. So in order to not feel like a total dirtbag, he just has to be defensive here and break your heart. Okay, and let's get two more clarifiers for this. I'm going to get it in this form. One from here. Chemistry. Interesting. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I, I saw that too with the lover's card. So he doesn't forget that you and him have the strong chemistry, attraction. But I think he took you for granted here because maybe you bent over backwards for him. You, were, you sacrificed too much. And uh, as for with this other person, can we get a clarifier for that, please, spirit? Mm. Calling in your soulmate, uh, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay. Yeah, that's a heavy one. I'm sorry, pile number two. Feels like maybe... At this time, they feel like, oh, I've met my soulmate, so we should be together. Even though they have chemistry with you, they do know that they have this chemistry with you. So that's what I'm seeing for this pile two. I'm sorry if this was triggering to you in any way. Um, I hope you know your own worth, your own value. If you are with the right person, they will always treasure you and... Never think of you as second best. They'd come back to you. Okay, because if there is, I mean, obviously there is chemistry between you guys that this person acknowledges. But, yeah, if this person is worth his weight and salt and he's a good person and he really does love you truly from the heart and treasure you, then, of course, this person would come back and love you right and they would be excited about you they wouldn't really want to leave you for someone else at least that's what i have to say about that that's what i do believe in if someone has very strong love for you they wouldn't do this for you they wouldn't um you know go for a third party you'd be their number one so even though they feel attraction for you and appreciation for you um Sorry to say, it seems like they're not feeling very strong feelings for you at this moment in time. And I don't think they will in the future. Because with the Three of Swords, you couldn't do that to someone you love very strongly. And it's not your fault that they don't love you strongly. It's just people have different preferences and uh, people click with um, different types of people. It's not about your looks or anything like that. It's about, you know, person's turn-ons or turn-offs, which are neither good or, nor bad. Okay. So, pile two, that was your reading. If you resonate with this, you can let me know. I hope you take care of yourself, put yourself first, and never compromise. If someone loves you, they will be there for you and show it to you consistently. Take care of yourself, pal, too. Bye. See you in another reading. Hi, pal, three. Welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to this stone here with the pink reddish tint. Okay. And the card underneath that is the king of coins, a.k.a. king of pentacles. Okay, so the king of pentacles... It's a card of money, for sure, abundance, 
but uh, this is from the Tarot of the Divine. So this has something to do with your third party situation here. It is a North American Iroquois mythology. King of Coins represents stability and faithfulness. The world turtle is strong enough to support the weight of others' hopes and dreams. He may not be an achieved participant, active participant in their lives, but he's always dependable, slow and steady. It means success, dependability, conservatism, strong will, willing to work, or reverse corruption, materialism, ruthlessness, authority, or indulgence. Okay, so I am feeling like this has something to do with this person's work. Maybe they became corrupted by work or the quest for money or, yeah, they turned their strong personality into one that was corrupt. But we're going to get an understanding of why we're getting this card for this pile. I mean, it just came through while I was shuffling. It flew out for your pile. So first off, let me tell you what we're going to be tackling today. Um, first, we're going to get your energy, your person's energy, and the third party. So whoever your person is also dealing with here is the third party. And then we're going to look at how he feels for you versus the third party. What he wants with you versus with the third party. And the third thing is what he will do regarding you versus with the third party. Okay, so that is our plan. But first, we're going to get a, um, an energy, so we can also tell if this is your pile from this. Spirit, give me one card for pile number three's energy. Gossip. Okay, light attributes, consideration for the feelings of others, honoring trust, or thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. Okay, so first off, it looks like... Maybe you were an ear for this person to listen to. As for your person, it's seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are, shadow attribute, inability to commit to a path once found. Yeah, getting kind of a flaky energy with this. Maybe this person didn't know what they wanted in life, so they went off into the distance in search of something better. Hmm. Okay, the king of coins, king of pentacles energy there could be the case so maybe money corrupted this person or a change of status like looking into the distant horizon and seeing better opportunities but we're going to get some clarifiers for that before we move on and hermit is for the third party seek solitude to focus intently on inner life serves personal creativity or withdraws from society out of fear of negative judgments of others refusing to help those in need mm, okay this third per person third party person the other woman or man in your partner's life is in this hermit mode so they're kind of defensive looks like they're reconsidering things or not sure what to do they seem despondent too. And here, what I can tell is you look pissed off. Maybe you talk about this person with your friends. You're getting news about where this person has been, has been going, what they're doing in their life. Um, okay, let's get a clarifier for each of these. One clarifier for you from this pile. Okay. One clarifier for your person. Convention. Okay, for you, I got order. For this person, I got convention. And for the third party person, yeah, this looks like the king of pentacles, king of coins energy here. So someone who's maybe very focused on their work, achievement, success, because these two cards, this one also looks like it's work. Or this person is bored with how things are in their life, how ordinary things are. So they want an adventure here. There's also another interpretation. It's for this third party person, discrimination. Mm. Okay, so maybe they're, the third party person is like, mm. do I even want this person? 
right now it looks like they're not sure about things whether they made the right decision by being with your person and let's get one more clarifier one for you okay staff you will be taken care of in difficult times mm -hmm. okay maybe this person was someone that you depended on they promised you the world here when you guys were talking they promised to take care of you now for this person we have two cards that came out let's see which one fire strong emotion passionate love or hate interesting with the secret here okay so <clears throat> this person yeah it looks like they don't like how ordinary things are so they need passion fire in their life they're tired of the ordinary maybe their job is boring and as for the third party person let's get one card egg success assured with good plans and hard work okay kind of reminds me of that yellow card there okay i need a clarifier for this but mm, okay so maybe this person was their golden goose is one download that i'm getting so they're sticking to them they're not budging even though they feel like maybe they're tired of this person how um rebellious this person has been but they're sticking to their golden goose because maybe they think that they can't get better they can't get a better partner with the discrimination card there this is the best one that they can do it's the best they they can do rather so chair empty someone is leaving your life okay so maybe right now they're on the outs with the hermit card that's what i'm seeing or they're afraid of being alone but let's see one more clarifier for this chair empty card grapes time to go out and have fun okay yeah it looks like this third party person is yeah not very happy with your person right now and they've withdrawn at least emotionally they're reconsidering things with the discrimination chair empty and time to go out and have fun okay one more clarifier for you career mm, that clarifies order card okay so maybe you're focused intently focused on your career now and um or you met this person through work is another interpretation i'm getting or you could be a virgo that may resonate with some of you here or a capricorn with a career now for the seeker one more clarifier please spirit one more clarification rather okay we have two but i need only one okay tent temporary situation wow interesting with the seeker looks like they're exploring and uh, temporary situation yeah i don't see this person as being very serious about what they do it doesn't look like they know what they want maybe that's why this third party person is also in this hermit mode despondent seeks solitude right now and feels alone with the chair empty because this person is out working trying to build their wealth trying to explore the world they're tired of the mundane they're being rebellious here but i see that this um third party person still has an investment in them maybe uh they need them for money here is what i'm getting with the golden egg okay so yeah this person i see you thought would take care of you in difficult times and that's why you're very mad because you guys confided a lot in each other you were their ear okay so now we're going to take a look at the first thing how he feels for you versus the other person okay let's put this here your cards will go here cards for how he feels for you will be on this side and this is the third party 
other person. Let's see how he feels about this other person here. Okay. So, three cards. Wow. For how he feels for you. A few flew out. I'm just going to take the ones that flew out and see which one is trying to come through. Okay. Interesting. Three of Swords. He feels like this relationship is broken down. Six of Cups. He wants a reconciliation. And Two of Cups. He wants to be together with you. Okay. So how he feels is heartbroken, it looks like. But we'll get some clarifiers for that now. Let's get three cards for how he feels about this other person. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe he has a money tied to this person. But definitely he wants to make an offering. Let's see which one is trying to come out first. Ooh, okay. Queen of Wands. And King of Wands. Wow, it's strong here. But I need some clarifiers because they're both King and Queen of Wands. So maybe this um, they've been together for a longer period of time than you have been with this person. Because I'm seeing like uh, maybe they're partners, committed partners to each other. And they are um, united by money. So we saw that golden egg here as well, which makes me think that maybe this person is married to this person or in a serious committed relationship with the Queen of Wands and King of Wands. That's very significant. And the Ace of Pentacles. Like they have a um, money type of relationship, sharing a home even. But let's get some clarifiers. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, they want a reconciliation with you. They do have nostalgia regarding you and want to be one with you. One from this deck. Charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to do something good for you. They feel guilty. And one for this person. Caution. Okay, so they're kind of afraid of this... Um, other person right now maybe they feel overburdened by responsibility here too many things to take care of when they're with this other person okay yeah, i'm seeing that defensiveness here with the king of wands as well and um let's get some clarifiers here for how they feel about you one more clarifier please spirit but we got two, and I feel like both want to come out. Bird flying, news is on the way. Okay, they do want news about you because they're heartbroken. And danger, especially in money matters. Okay. So even though they do want to be with you, they feel like it's a risk financially. Because notice with the other person, they have this financial stability of some sort or financial ties. So they're kind of afraid of this unity with you, even though they want it. Because charity and uh, money matters. You would require a lot of um, financial investment or getting rid of this person would be costly. And let's get two more cards. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Absolutely. Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, they have financial ties to one another. This uh, third-party person and your person. And leg stepping into a new experience. Hmm. Caution. Okay. So they're very tentative around this person for some reason. Maybe because this person knows that they have feelings for you or they've been with you. So they're very careful around this person because they don't want to ruin their financial ties or what they've built already with this person yeah i do see some defensiveness here okay and let's get one more card before we move on to um what they want 
Okay, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, maybe this person deceived you. They promised you things they didn't deliver. That's why they want to make up with you with the Six of Cups. And that's why there was this heartbreak. And as for with this other person, any other clarifier for how they feel? One card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. They need this person for their stability, money, um, for the order in their life. So there's some sort of codependency. They're reliant on this person. That's how they feel. All right. Pile three. Now we're going to take a look at the cards of how or rather what they want with you versus with the um, other person. Let's get three cards here for what they want with you. The wheel. Okay. The wheel of fortune. Six of wands. Ooh, the empress. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers, two clarifiers for that. So they do want success with you. Six of wands. Yeah. It looks like they also want to want to be. Um, they think you're beautiful and what they want is to have a family with you, a baby. But they're leaving it up to the universe to solve. But secretly what they want is for you to be the mother or if you're male watching this, the father of their child, their queen or their king. Okay. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. Okay. So there's some sort of obstacle here. Maybe this um, third party person. So that's why they're leaving it up to fate with the universe, the wheel of fortune card here. And one more. Two came out, but. We only want one, please, spirit. Okay, crown, honor, and respect will come to you. They want to do the honorable thing. Um, yeah. They would marry you if they could, it looks like. Okay, because they think you're beautiful, so they want to honor you. And uh, if possible, have a baby with you, have the success story with you. Now, let's see. What do they want with this third party, this other person? Oh, wow. Three cards came out. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Okay. And King of Pentacles. Interesting. We had that earlier. Oh, no. We had that here. King of Coins. Yeah, this is this makes sense now. King of Pentacles, Kings of Coins. Um, they're the same exact thing. Just called Coins here, rather than Pentacles. So... They're not sure if they want to invest. They feel like this is dead. Something about this is dead with the Ten of Swords. Hmm. But they're worried about money. You see that here? They're thinking about their money, what they've built up so far. Remember, caution. They're afraid of parting with their money because there's codependency regarding money here. Okay, but... The Ten of Swords means they want to end this. What they want is to end this. Because they want to be with you, it looks like. Or somewhere else. Like we saw with the um, Explorer card earlier. The Seeker card. Right? They want to move on to greener pastures, to be better life. Where there's passion. Exciting events. And two more clarifiers. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay. Seven of pentacles. Okay. So, think, well, they want to be stubborn about this because they've invested so much. And wow, again, next to the king of pentacles, purse. Pay attention to your finances. Money, money, money. They're very careful. Look how tentative they are. They're afraid monetarily 
to take this risk and do something about it because of money concerns. So they're stubbornly not really doing much. Maybe they will end it because the Ten of Swords is a card of ending things here. Now, the last, the third thing that we're going to do is what will he do regarding you and regarding this person? So we're going to get some clarifiers for that. Okay. Let's get two cards from this deck here. What are they going to do ultimately regarding you? Okay, several came out. So I want to see which two come out for you. Page of Cups. They're going to see where this goes. It's not a very committal energy. Six of Swords. Yeah. Looks like they're not going to do much. Let's just get one more. Looks like they're going to wait and see how their travels, how their life pans out before they do anything, before they commit to anything. But they have feelings. The cup's energy there. And justice. Yeah, they want to offer you some sort of justice. Um, ask for your forgiveness. But, yeah, I don't see them doing much. Notice how this person is blindfolded. This one is leaving. Okay, and now what will they do regarding the third party? We have three of pentacles. Okay. So it looks like they will cheat on this person. This card also flew out. The sun. Wow. And... The chariot. They're just not sure what to do. So they're going to uh, maintain the status quo. The sun is a card of just maintaining things as they are. Let's get two clarifiers for these. And we'll wrap up our reading, pal three. So first for you, pal three. What will pal three's person do regarding this situation? October. Maybe by October they'll do something. And great happiness. Okay, I want to get a clarifier for that. Hmm. Okay, they'll come up with uh, news. Try to make it up to you. For um, the fall. Metaphorically speaking, for what they did to hurt you here. Remember, we had seen... They were trying to make up to you. Make it up to you. So, let's see. What is this harp about here? Yep, generosity, making it up to you. Absolutely. Looks like they're going to um, try to be generous with you, give you some justice here with the great happiness and generosity in October. Yeah, they're planning for October to do something in the fall time. And as for with this person, what are they going to do ultimately with this person? Okay, two cards came out. Clouds, temporary problems. So they're going to gloss over whatever problems are in this relationship. Maybe the cheating. That's what I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles. So they're going to um, keep collaborating with this person. That's a card of collaboration. So is the Sun card here. And they're going to try to... Um, yeah, see this as temporary problems. And ultimately, they're not going to be sure what to do because they're so worried about this uh, pentacles, plenty of material things, this bowl, this abundance, this money benefit that they have with this person. Remember with the egg, with all these pentacles cards that we saw earlier, they're afraid. Afraid of, right, their finances being affected. Again, we see that here. So that's why it looks like they're going to be stuck for the time being. Because money is a very important factor in this person's life. What they've already established with this person. 
in some instances, maybe they already have a child with this person, but um, that's not going to resonate with all of you. But so that's what it looks like. Pile number three. If you resonated with this reading, you can let me know. I hope this reading found you well and um, take care of yourself. I'll see you in another reading. Bye, Pal 3. Have a lovely day. Hi, Pal 4. Welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to this stone, this round one, with the gray. And the card that came through for your pile as I was shuffling is the Four of Cups. Okay. So the Four of Cups, let's take a look at what this means, specifically from which tale. So it's a Danish folk tale. Four of Cups represents romanticizing bad choices while ignoring the good, good alternatives before you. It is coveting what is superficially quote-unquote better, neglecting a plain nightingale who can actually sing away death. Upright, it means a lack of awareness, pessimism, daydreaming, lethargy, re-evaluation, or in its negative form, it means motivation, opportunity, optimism, restlessness, boredom. Okay, so I do remember this uh, tale. This uh, emperor abandoned this nightingale for uh, a fake nightingale robot that he could wind up. So I'm getting a sense of why you got this card for your third party reading. Maybe this person abandoned you in lieu of the uh, third party here, thinking that the other party is a better choice, even though they're more mechanical, the emotions are more mechanical. It's not the real deal. While, while here you are the real deal, the one who truly loved them. So what is on the menu today? First of all, we're going to be taking a look at your energy, your person's energy, and the third party's energy in this um, relationship. And the first thing that we're going to do after that is get how he feels for you versus for the third party. Second thing is uh, we're going to discover what he wants regarding you and what he wants regarding the third party. And the last thing that we will do, the third thing is what will he do regarding you? And what will he do regarding third party, okay, in the near future? Okay, so first, before we get into their feelings and such, let's take a look at your energy, their energy, and the third par person's energy here. Okay, so your energy is the athlete. Light attributes Dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit, or misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends, false sense of invulnerability and entitlement. Okay, so with the imagery, what I'm getting here is that you would have moved mountains for this person. You were dedicated to transcending this third party situation and... Uh, getting this person to be yours. You were yeah, very dedicated and willing to do a lot for this person. Now for this person, which card are we getting for your person here? Child divine, light attributes, innocence, purity, and redemption suggests a special connection with the divine, a shadow attribute and an ability to defend oneself against negative forces. So I'm seeing someone who's, uh, yeah, a little bit immature here while also being exuberant. Maybe this person is lively, was lively, fun, like the emperor here that was swayed by this mechanical bird rather than the real nightingale that is you. So someone who's enthusiastic but immature, you know, sees things superficially, doesn't see the sacrifice, but what is funner for that moment and the third party let's get an energy card for them okay thank you spirit we have networker mm. Ooh, okay so 
Light Attributes enhances unity through the sharing of information and genders, social awareness and empathy, or Shadow Attribute conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. Falsehood. Okay. So it looks like this person pursued your person with the letters here. That's what I'm seeing, like a secret admirer. And um, this person may have been more well-connected than you were in this person's uh, mind anyway, a third-party person, whoever this is, whether it's um, someone they cheated on you with or their wife. I mean, everyone's situation is different. That's what the third-party person means. Someone who is um, seeing your person. So I'm going to get some clarifiers for each of these. Let's see. One for pile number four here, please, spirit. Thank you. Fortune. Okay. Leo energy here, definitely. Um, what I'm seeing is someone who is courageous, would have gone to the ends of the earth for their person. That's you. Pile number four. Maybe you were even, on paper, even better than this person here. Of course, the Nightingale, the real deal is better than a fake copy. Originality with the Child Divine. Okay. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. But right off the bat, it looks with the Aquarius energy here, someone who wanted something different is the sense that I'm getting. They had different ideas about life. They just want something that is different, eccentric, mechanical, maybe. And for this person, we got two cards, actually, and I'm going to keep these. Enthusiasm. Yeah, definitely, I'm seeing that. They're definitely enthusiastic about getting your person and quarrel. They're ready to fight. Okay. Okay. So I'm not getting an easygoing vibe from the third party. So let's take a look at some more clarification before we get into how they feel about you. So first, slowly but surely getting ahead, turtoise. Okay, maybe this person wasn't emotionally available to you is what I'm sensing with this card. So everything felt slow even though... You were going fast. You were moving mountains, uh, making sacrifices for this person. Okay, or you may have had problem with uh, money or your career at that time. There's another download that I'm getting. Okay, now for this person, your person, pile number four, let's see. We have diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay, so they wanted something very different, very original, like the emperor here wanted this um, bird toy rather than the real nightingale that could sing. So because they thought this other thing was a diamond, it was so original, something unusual, this other person that they hadn't seen before. And like a child, they go for shiny things rather than someone with substance, someone who's making the effort, slowly but surely getting ahead, trying to build. And for this third party person, let's get an extra card. What else can you say about this third party person spirit? Thank you. Seahorse, family matters. Okay. So this person, it looks like they wanted a family with uh, your person, pile four. Um, with the quarrel here, I need a clarifier for sure. So I'm going to get one extra card. Maybe they are already established and together in a family situation. So, okay. The quarrel card, we got misunderstanding. Okay. Mm. So potentially for some of you, what I'm also seeing here is, yeah, this person... This third party person and you, you, your person had a falling out, a misunderstanding, and um, maybe they broke up for a time if they're not still together. I see that they're 
are definitely value differences between this person and your person. They butt heads a lot in terms of family matters. Maybe they're, your person's family doesn't like this person. So, yeah, there is conflict here. I feel like you were more liked by this person's family because here what I'm getting for sure is your person's family or friends may not really like this person with the networker card here. There's something disingenuous about this um, networker. You tried to win over this person's friends and family, it looks like. Okay. So now let's take a look at how he feels for you versus how he feels for this other person. Okay. So let me put these away. Okay. So that's this other person's side. This is your side. We're going to take a look at how this person feels for you first with three cards and then for the third party. Three cards, please, for how does pile number four's person feel about pile number four? Okay. Let's see which ones are coming through. King of Swords. What is this? The Two of Wands. Definitely Wistful. Ace of Swords. They're definitely thinking through this. Yeah, the Two of Wands and what they did here. They're definitely contemplating, thinking about you with the two, of, the two of Wands looking out into the horizon. But let's get some clarifiers for this. Two clarifiers in particular, please, Spirit. Okay. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. And you'll be playing a different role. Mm, notice that. Looks like a hat here as well. So it looks like they think they've lost you here. And uh, you guys are broken up. So now they feel like it's not possible. Maybe you're angry at them. I want to get a clarifier for this crib, birth, or conception of a child or enterprise. What is that? Did they have a baby and they can't, um, you know, communicate with you with the King of Swords because they have another family going on here? I don't know, but we're going to get a clarifier. So let me, we got several cards out, so I'm going to have to shuffle again to get one in particular. Let's see what, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, two came out. Boat, money, or prosperity through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. And a two-faced friend. Ooh, okay. All right. So with the King of Swords, I see them thinking about how they cut you off, how they were two-faced, how they two-timed you here. As soon as they saw something shinier, they went off. Okay, and... Um, how this ended as quickly as it began with the crib, how they just left. They left this behind, it looks like, with you. So they're remembering that, reminiscing over that. Yeah, I see a lot of thinking going on here, two of wands, like what could have been. And let's get three cards for how this person feels about... File number four is um, third-party person, how that person is regarded in your person's heart. File number four. Let's see, third party. How do they feel about the third party? King of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. The Tower. Mm, remember the quarrel card here. Interesting. Looks like they have 
yeah, a tower moment with this person. Maybe they broke up for a while or they are broken up now. Because there's some discord here. Something has fallen apart. Or how this person broke up your relationship with this person, Pile 4. That's what they're thinking of. And Seven of Wands. Okay. So they're thinking of, yeah, their abundance here. Okay, King of Pentacles. They want something serious, but, yeah, they're kind of reticent because when they think of the tower moment, like how risky this person has been, how quarrelsome, maybe that's why they're keeping a little bit in waiting mode with this person, a little bit defensive, trying not to do much. Yeah, it looks like they're weighing the pros and cons here. If this person would be a good fit for their family, for their life, because there was a tower moment. I feel like there's been conflict between this third party person and your person here regarding maybe family matters. There's been a misunderstanding, fighting. Okay, but we'll get some clarifiers for this. Let's get two clarifiers, one from here. Wow. Three came out. We only need two. Good advice from a wise person. Okay. So they feel they have to be wise about this person. Like they shouldn't jump the gun. And shield. They're seeing red flags in this relationship. They need to defend themselves with the seven of wands here. Definitely. I was seeing that. They don't feel safe with this person, pal, for this other party. Okay. So let's get one more clarifier for how they feel about you. Okay, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. What I'm getting with this is now they appreciate you more with this new love card and two of wands. They're considering all the things that you did for them. How much you sacrificed, how beautiful you were with this um, nightingale, singing nightingale here. And... So the other person, chemistry, okay. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, okay. So it looks like, yeah, they do have, yeah, chemistry with this person, this other person here, Pile 4. Yeah, even though there are red flags in this relationship and they're afraid of their quarrelsome nature, of how they could use your person. Would they be a good fit in terms of family? Because, yeah, there are a lot of misunderstandings here. So, now, the second portion is what he wants with you versus with the other party. Let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, let's get three cards out for what he wants with you or two okay strength okay queen of swords and five of swords looks like he doesn't know what he wants maybe there's some distance here between you guys the queen of swords you're not on speaking terms there's been a fight here Okay, and with the two-faced car that we had earlier, maybe they feel like they can't trust you. You would attack here with the lion. But we're going to get some clarifiers for that. Um, so, what he wants is to figure this mystery out. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He wants to be strong. He doesn't know what he wants to do because... Yeah, there's a struggle in his mind. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Okay, that was for the strength card. Okay, they could see a fresh start. And May. Mm, okay. So maybe in May, in the springtime, they may decide on what to do here. Or May is when your relationship began or ended here. 
that could also be what this card of May is about. The Five of Swords, they're not sure what this all means. Okay. And let's see. What do they want with this other person? Pile number four. So we're going to get some cards. Three cards here for what they want. Death. Ace of Cups. Okay. The Sun. Mm. Okay. They want there to be an end to the drama between this person and them. They want there to be love and happiness with this person. But let's take a look at some clarifiers. We need two clarifiers, please, Spirit. So one for the Death and the Ace of Cups here. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Problems to be resolved. Yes, like I said, they want these problems to just die out because remember they have family misunderstanding um this person the third party is quarrelsome so they want a death and a rebirth this person to just stop bickering with them and august let's take one more card out okay so this is the moon card yeah this illusion or these problems Card of misunderstandings also with the moon and good luck with the sun. Okay, they want to be lucky with this person. <sighs> okay. So, like I said, with you, I see that maybe they do want a fresh start, but they think you'd be very angry with them, defensive and rightfully so, and they're confused about what to do, how to fix the situation they have a war in their mind. Let's get one more clarifier for that. Okay. One more clarifier before we move on to um, what they're going to do about you and about this other person. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Order. Yeah, they want to put the situation right. Yeah, because their mind is full of chaos right now. Like, Five of Swords is a card of confusion, quarrels. So they want to put it right. They're very confused at this point in time. So perhaps in May is when they'll get around to doing this. Or in um, two months' time. Because May is two months away for whenever you're watching this. If you're not watching this in March. And... Now let's take a look at what they're going to do about this. Let me refer to my notes. What will he do regarding you? And also what will he do regarding this third party person? Okay. Let me get these out. Three cards, please, Spirit. Thank you. Queen of Wands. The Empress. More. Mm, page of Cups. Okay, notice there are two women here. It's like he has a hard time deciding between this you and this other person here. So, okay, we're going to get some clarifiers for that. All right, let's take a look. Okay, Caution and Defense. Mm, okay, he seems to be, yeah, very defensive since he has this other person in his life. Even though he does feel passion for you, maybe this other person is his um, steady, the one in his life. So he wants to be very careful and be defensive with you, not do anything, and just offer this... Um, other person something for now that's what i see here but one more card for what he's going to do regarding you 
Okay, thank you, spirit. Time to go out and have fun. Mm, okay, so he may approach you for a fun time, but... Yeah, like I said, I don't see anything serious that he wants right now regarding you. He's defensive and very careful, like he doesn't want to rock the boat with his other person or in his life right now. And let's get three cards for what he wants to do or what he's going to do regarding this other person. Okay. So... Thank you, Spirit. The moon. Yeah, we saw that here with the August card. Okay, we saw a moon there. So, let's see which one's trying to come out first. Six of Cups. That's reconciliation. Okay, and King of Cups. Mm, okay, so he has feelings for this other person, it looks like. So he's going to try to make up and stay with this person. Clear away the confusion. Problems to be resolved. Remember, he wants to resolve these problems, as we saw earlier with the death rebirth card. This misunderstanding. Clear away the confusion. Make up with this person and stay with the king of cups. But let's get two more clarifiers for that. Okay. Okay, we had teardrops come out. Great personal sorrow. Make up with this person. It looks like they miss this other person. And firecracker excitement. Okay, king of cups. Hmm. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. Not sure what that is about. So I'm going to take a look. One more clarifier before we wrap this up, please, spirit. For the firecracker card, what is this referring to? Loss. Mm. Okay, so it looks like they feel that they've lost this person or they could be losing this person, so they're acting fast. You see they're honing in on this person with the binoculars and uh, the teardrops. They want to make up with this person, it looks like. <sighs> okay, so even though they're defensive with you, they want to have fun. They're still entertaining this other person in their life. Yeah, so they're more defensive with you, it looks like, in the near future. And they want to make up with the third party. And it's exciting that this relationship is one filled with um, misunderstanding, conflict. They want to fix it, make amends here with the Six of Cups. Okay, so, yeah, if they don't know your worth, your value, it does not mean that you're less valuable, less worthy. In fact, the nightingale is more valuable than a toy that um, you can wind up to make a song, like we saw in this um, tale of the Four of Cups here. Yeah, right now, this is what I'm seeing, pile number four. If you resonate with this, um, you can let me know. I love reading your stories. Take care of yourself. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Pal4.